a hundred years ago in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Greenwood District, to be exact, was home to the most successful, most affluent black community. In fact, they called it Black Wall Street. Hospitals, hotels, groceries, all black owned. Black developers built and rented out black homes. Neighbor ran white districts, was hating on our melanin. What we supposed to do? This is blickety black excellence. One day, a black boy named Dick Rowland went strolling to use the closest black on the bathroom that he could get hold of. Stepped on the elevator and fell. He grabbed Sarah Page, a white girl who got startled and yelled. So he fled the scene, or presumably innocent. Cause a white woman screams enough to get a brother lynch. A clerk called the police and said she was attacked. But she said he never resorted her. That's facts. The next day, police found him at his mama house. Put him in handcuffs and took him to the drama house. The newspaper reported and lied in a print. Said a Negro attacked a white woman and he would be lynched. Now, word traveled town that a brother would be hanged. So the racist stormed the courthouse to watch the whole thing. But feds never had plans to kill him Had him hold up at the top floor jail in the building What started out as a few hundred Beckys and Bobs Turned into a 2,000 person racist lynch mob No weapons concealed, they threatened to kill him Police ready to shoot any rioters who stepped in the building Then black citizens showed up with guns They heard the same rumors, went to protect them from being hung Police told whites to leave, they loudly denied Police asked blacks to leave, they went and complied This was not fine, gentlemen on both sides The white mob tried to test, so the brothers had to slide Gunfire exchange, killing ten white men and Two blacks, they took that as a Negro uprising They pulled in the Greenwood from neighboring districts Shooting black people, babies and children And set blaze to the buildings They burned the hospital and hundreds of black businesses one thing about racists, they mad sensitive After that, they went into the residential blocks Forced blacks out of their homes And took them to detention spots And that ain't even all the killing They had planes with bombs dropped on buildings Like Uri resident was Charlie Wilson They used gunpoint to turn fire trucks away Only the devil would want to watch the world blaze Some of the blacks fought back instead But they were so outnumbered That a lot of them fled Them racists burnt down all of their bread the next day, martial law was declared To subdue the violence The streets was finally quiet A white jury blamed black mobs for the riots 200 businesses, 1300 homes 300 blacks and some whites dead and gone To do that, you gotta be savage In today's money, the rise was 32 million in property damage Damn, not one person convicted Not a single payment delivered It took a decade for blacks to rebuild it Until segregation ended So they moved abroad Black Wall Street, you see how they do what's wrong